Welcome back everyone to part number 12 of Psycho Enigma's Pokemon Platinum Ultimate Randomizer. I hope it's part 12. I think it's part 12. I don't know. Um, but anyway, in the previous part we did nothing productive. We failed to catch Chimchar and we caught a Ninjask called Bob. I know, you're stunned in suspense. Um, I had to research where I had to go afterwards and of course naturally... Uh, cycling road. We just got the bike. That was pretty obvious to tell. Don't tell me you haven't got an explorer kit. Oh, really? We have to go do that stupid event? I thought I'd get away without doing it. I'm not going to show off the explorer kit in any way. It's stupid. But we got the, uh, got the underground man. Thank you for the explorer kit. That's wonderful. Yeah, we're taking down to the tunnel, which is a different world, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm okay, thank you. Eh, yes, yes, you get lonely. Anyway, we have an explorer kit that we're never going to use in our lives. I mean, I've used it a lot on the DS, and it's a lot of fun, but... You know, it's not something you need necessarily do. Hello, how are you? Press of Rowan's isn't a dawn's far. They've come a long way on your adventure. Are you going to give me something? I've met 132 Pokemon because I'm a beast. Oh, we got the EXP share. Thank you. You're my new favorite person. I mean, you're somewhere between the, the guy that gives you the running shoes and the guy that gives you the bike. Um, Along that sort of line. Where's, where, where is the EXP share? Give. Give, give, we need Bob some EXP. Whoa! Oh, do you know what? This is stupid, right? It doesn't automatically, like, like put you on your bike. I suppose I can't complain too much. Well, I can, actually. And I probably will. But let's just get Cycling Road out of the way. And we'll see what else I can do in this park. Whoa, it's a strong bronze ore you got there. But thankfully, it appears to be weak to fighting type moves. So Roller... Has no difficulty with it, which is what I like to see. Do you battle? You do. Spiffing. Okay, so Lilips, and it goes to show how underleveled we actually are. It's it's not good. Like, I, I don't know what level the next gym's going to be, but we are under it. So, I think after this episode, some off-screen grinding will kind of need to be done. And I've al I always debate with grinding montages... I just, I don't know, something about them just puts me off, like the, I mean, I don't mind watching some people grinding montages, but to do one myself, I think, would be ridiculous. Speaking of the ridiculous, that Laron's pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous. Let's go into Lucinda and hope that she fares better with her Earth Power! And so she did. Why did I, things like that make me think, why didn't I go with that Pokemon from the start? But then you realise, I don't know what the hell type that Pokemon is. So, eh, I don't know. Anyway, we're charging down the cycling road here. Multiple trainers for me to decimate. And some money is to be earned. Bidoof, you're dragon type! That's the, the, the one suckish thing about Bidoof when he evolved. He became a became an electric type. And I liked, it. I liked him as a... I think he was a pure dragon. No, he was dragon flying. Dragon flying, sorry. Yeah. Bidoof as a dragon flying type was, was comical. If, if you haven't seen the early episodes of this Let's Play, you should. Fairly damn amusing with this, like, outraging Bidoof because for some reason, TM27 in this game was outraged as well. Just because I think when the game randomised itself, they were just, yes, let's do that. That will be funny. Oh, come on, Grim. Please, Grim. Just, just, there we go. Taking down the Wynal. Don't, I don't even like Wynal. The whole Wynal and Wobbuffet line, just, something about it just really annoys me. A uh, Bone Club, let's do some smushing. You're not really good at the sm whole, the this, this smushing thing, are you, Lucy? Oh, God, Bob! Oh, and the, you'll find this comical Bob, right? One of the fastest Pokemon, right? Literally, speediest Pokemon is Ninjask. He has a speed of 10. 
I can tell you're all blown away by that. I can tell you that, oh, my face when I saw Bob speed stat was... It was... Oh, I, I, can't, I can't even describe what emotions I was feeling. It was, it was that scary. So, after five minutes, we're still on the cycling road. And we're just taking on any and all comers, which is good. Grim's mainly doing a lot of the damage because... I want to know if... If she'll evolve into a Dusk Noir. Because I have turned Trade Evolution off. So that should mean that she will evolve. Just no idea when. So many trainers and so little healing items. But Dusk Noir is a cool Pokemon that I've never had. I've never really bothered training a Dusk Noir either. I suppose when you get a Dragon type, when you're more inclined to. Oh, Grim! Grim! No, no, Grim, you're going to do this. We're going to do this. A super potion up. That's one thing I hate about people that when I watch Let's Plays of them, and I've probably done it in this playthrough, but when they're not doing a Nuzlocke, when they're just like playing it normally, they're so reckless with their Pokemon. They're like, eh, I don't care, I'll just send someone else in to kill it. You know, but it's like, share the experience. I, I get a little bit angry when I watch them, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but a Slack Off. We'll, we'll send out Rocks here. Defense order is random. Oh, this game This game gets so trippy. I'm not even going to lie to you all. And I was eventually going to put up a link in the description of probably the pilot episode or the series intro that would allow you people to do something like this. But I might have forgot. I'll probably not even get around to it. Things I'm working on for this series at the moment are friggin' thumbnails and, and title sequence, which I still haven't done, and I really should. Title sequence, not so much, but I like I like making thumbnails. Don't even ask me why I haven't done it, I'm just... Laziness is probably the... Oh, Grim, you had to die at the one point I need you. Let's go into Roxy, I'm sure she can uh, deal with things pretty easy from here. And I picked Sky Attack. You're an idiot, Simon. There we go. Okay. And we're out of trainers, good. Anyone here to chat to about stuff? Yes, you. What, 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 what? You haven't got a flag? Ah, excellent. I've got a flag. Because that's now the most important thing. So, Route 206. Oh, yes, this is where we we now have a bike. So, we can now go sort of that way. To Mount Coronet South. I don't know, but I need to go to a Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon. And we will go somewhere then. So, see you all in a second. Oh, the advantage of Orberg City being just there as I... Uh, as I realised with the uh, the slope, you know, the muddy slope that I mentioned, I'm sure I mentioned it earlier. And this way you get to watch me fail at climbing a slope, where you don't really actually, you just see me getting on a bike and then zoom, there we go. How cool was that? And just to carry on with the theme of not doing anything productive, we're going to go this way. Oh, we've got berries, 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 berries. It's a raspberry. They were imaginative with that name. Good job, Game Freak. Good job. So, uh, we'll, we'll pick the raspberries for no real reason. Other than to delay the story, actually. Because, you know, those of you that want to see the story all randomised and crazy. Yeah, you're not going to get that for a little while. I'm not going to lie to you all. Because we get the opportunity to get more one-shot Pokemon. So, I think this is Route 206. Which I haven't caught on yet. But I will do... Now? Now. Maybe now? There we go. Okay, our one-shot Pokemon is... Zubat. Okay, so Zubats are no longer in caves. They're more kind of... Around the caves. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take down and we'll try not to, to kill it. Well, it's good to know that... Uh, what? What do you... Wait... Wait, does this Zubat know Skullbash? Um, Z Zubat? Zubat. No. No. No Skullbashing. One. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do is I want this Zubat. Well, because, you know, it's a... Like a Nuzlocke or like any kind of game where you just, you, you know, you're setting yourself limits on where you can catch your Pokemon. You need to make every one count. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing this, and because Crobat is freaking awesome. Because I would use this Zubat. I don't know 
who I would put in the team to replace him, or replace the Zubat, but it's got some powerful moves on it with Skullbash and, uh, and Double Edge, and Takedown is weak on it, so it might be a Rock type, it might be a Steel type, I'm fully happy to catch it and find out what it is, one, two, three, and we have Zubat! That is a celebratory Zubat Wob. Now available on uh, Ministry of Sound Dubstep at Psycho Enigma Edition. <laughs> that was a really bad plug. It's a dark rock type. That that's quite cool. So uh, Zubat Pokemon, and I've got the perfect name for this Zubat. It's female. It's called Batgirl. That that's just it. Done. And I've got a funny story attached with the name Batgirl. <laughs> One of, one of my subs, I don't know if he watches this, this series, but uh, Mr. Shadowcams that I've got on here, who does some pretty good videos. I don't even know why I'm in my bag. He does some pretty good videos. I'd, I'd say check him out. But um, yeah, we, we went to college together. I've known the guy about four years now. And we went to college together, and you know, you're, you're teenagers. You're in college. You, you'll you occasionally stop doing your works to, to browse the women's, if you get what I mean. And anyway, we, we would see this girl every day. Or like, not every day, but a, a, a majority of the time. And the first time we saw her, like, she was in a Batman t-shirt. I said, like, oh, that's cool. And then we'd see her, like, a few days later, in a Batman t-shirt, a different one. So then we just associated this 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 girl, who we have no idea whose name is, and to this day, still have no idea. Um, go away, Cricketoon, you're not important. So this was, a, this was Batgirl. We were both like, ah, oh, bad girl. As you do. I heard there were two caves on Route 106, but I could only find one entrance. Yes, it's because you're stupid and you can't find the Wayward Cave. I can. It's over here somewhere. Oh, item. But yes, that that that's the weird thing attached with a uh, with Batgirl. Batgirl was certainly an interesting one back in the days of college. Anyway, let let's kill this slow king. That's gonna hurt. A couple more bug buzzies should get rid of it. Unfortunately, the earth power will get rid of. Ah, stop it with the detect! It's so infuriating. I actually hate detect and everything. I mean, yes, my slow king knows it, but that's because it's better than some of the crap it did have. Uh, so ooh, there's a trainer. I'm assuming that's a trainer. More slow king, right? We we don't want that. And yeah, let's just go and battle the trainer. I was actually gonna come and greet you politely, but you um you turned and faced me, so it's now your death, man, Cammy. And we need to get Roller out of there straight away. Uh, let's go into Lucinda, because for some reason I just really fancy Lucinda for this fight. It, it gets it gets ridiculous with how the uh, the moves differ, like. Ground type moves don't affect plus all, yet they were super effective. And I'm just gonna literally just it appears to want to go for focus punch. So I am gonna quite happily sit here and return it till it dies. Because I'm an intelligent Pokemon trainer like that. As long as I know it's gonna keep going for it. And I think I swear the AI in every Pokemon game has a glitch with Focus Punch. I swear it does. It will just go for it about seven odd times in a row, and it's like you, you didn't go. For, it didn't work the first time. It certainly means it ain't gonna work the next time. Uh, Medicham is going to Barbara. Let's let's end this fight quickly with Barbara and her Leaf Blade. That wasn't very afraid. Oh God, Roller! No, 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 Roxy. We do not want Roller out there. That would be bad. Uh, let's go for the Dragon Claw, actually. Oh, another Pokemon that knows um, that that move of, of, of the um, Skull Bash, that one. Well, that was painful. Thunder Fang. Oh, it's super effective. So let's go for another Thunder Fang. I find this randomizer is a lot of trial and error with the taking of the taking Pokemon down. Um, and I know I mentioned earlier about putting a link in the description for the series, but if, if you do want to give this a go... Feel free to personal message me and I will send you the link just because I don't... Not that I don't want to put it on my video, it's more just I'll forget. So if you personal message me, that like tells me to do it. 
So Wayward Cave, here's one entrance, and here's our one-shot Pokemon, I guess. Oh, yeah! Come on, I want the Gibble. I want the Gibble. I want the Gibble so much! Oh, my God! Hey, buddy! Miracle Eye? What? What is... Oh, identify... I never get what identified means. <gasps> it's a... Oh, we thought a Gibble before. It's a ghost type, isn't it? I want you! I want you so much! Yes! That is perfect. Stay right there. Right there, Gibble. And... Pokemon, come on, come on. Come on. What? I should have really bought more Pokeballs. I, I realise this mistake when it comes to catching something I want. Come on, Pokeball. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Oh, no. Don't tease me. Don't tease me. Don't don't you do it, Gibber. Don't you do I want you. I want you so much. Come on. Come on, Pokeball. Let's do this. Come on. Oh no! No, 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 no. This isn't happening to me. This is not happening. I've gone crazy. I, uh, I've gone crazy and I'm pulling my hair out. I'm not really, but I'm more running my fingers through it. Because that's, you know, what I do when... It's like my lucky thing to catch a Pokemon and I, like, stro I rub my own hair. Like, like, so that's weird, isn't it? I'm going to stop that. Um, Back to catching this Gibble. <laughs> Final Pokeball. Come on. Come on, Gibble. And a one, a two, a three. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We have a great ball. We've, we've got a great ball. Come on. Come on, great ball. I believe. I believe. One, two. No. <laughs> Come on. This isn't fair. I, I'm willing to try. I, you know what? I will try it. I will use my nest ball. My net ball, sorry. Come on. Come on, net ball. One. Two. Oh, <laughs> I really thought for a second it was going to do it. Okay. Well, that sucks. I really kind of wanted a gibble. Go on, Bob. Let's... Do it with the boomerang. Good job. Good. Actually, Bob. Bob proved to be quite a little beast there. Ah, uh, can I really explore that that much? I don't like. I, I'll come back here when I have flash. Uh, yes, I'll come back here with flash. That that's a better idea because I don't like getting lost in caves. It makes me feel like I waste everyone's time. But, again, another short one. Um, this is the end of the episodes where I just pray around. Uh, the next part, we will be moving on to Mount Coronet. And I think we encounter Dawn soon? I'm fairly sure we encounter Dawn soon and something happens with that. I can't remember Platinum too well. But I would like to thank everyone for watching. And if you're still with the series about the second viewer that I have, um, I thank you for your continued patience of me rambling and prattling around as I do. Um, I'll save the game right here and I'll see you all in the next part.